Hey guys, Anthony here. It is Saturday, June 17th, 2017. And today's video, I'm going to highlight the haversack that I purchased a few weeks ago from the hiddenwoodsman.com's uh, website. Uh, he's a fabricator up in uh, the Massachusetts area. And um, this is the haversack itself. Uh, I, I have it kitted out a little bit right now with a 10 piece kit plus plus some and in today's video we're going to go on a little walk and I am going to go over the contents of this kit and show you what's uh, how this pack is uh, able to be packed out uh, for something like this or um, if you didn't want that obviously you could take off all these attachments it does have the molly points on either side I did buy some straps to attach uh, in this case I have a small shelter here and I have stuff kitted out inside the bag that we're going to go over when we get to our destination so um, and then we're going to use a couple of the items just to show you uh, the usefulness of this and then also uh, this pack can be carried as a pack you would carry around town say with your wallet and keys and stuff like that uh, it's also good for that or uh, like I have it today uh, for a little maybe a day hike or a short uh, hike uh, in the woods or wherever you're going and um, able to have some essentials with you including uh, food water fire making shelter um, etc okay so let's get to uh, where we're going then we'll break out the contents of this kit because I think I found ourselves a spot to do this video um, uh, I think we'll we'll set up right around here I could lay out the contents of the pack I can even put some items on the rock here and uh, show you what we got All right, guys, construction and craftsmanship on this uh, pack is excellent. Um, it is uh, stitched very well. Uh, the buckles are all high quality buckles. And again, guys, I'm gonna put you, uh, attach the link that'll describe in detail, uh, you know, the specifics, the, um, what it's made of, the uh, Kodura nylon, all the uh, essentials. I took one of his patches and purchased it as well. He has several on the website, so you do have a spot for your patch there. Um, again, I bought the bedroll straps so I could hook, uh, attach uh, something like a blanket, a tarp, a shelter. In this case, I have a one-man tent inside of a Sea to Summit dry bag. I've got my Gerber Prodigy knife um, molly to the side panel on one side. As you can see, I've got my canteen, USGI canteen kit with some essentials in it, which we'll show you, including fire making and some uh, Esbit tablets and some wet fire. Um, also, uh, a canteen cup. So that's all attached uh, to the other side panel. 
And then inside the kit, I have some items based off of Dave Canterbury's 10 piece kit um, setup. You've got the adjustable shoulder strap again uh, that buckles right here. Okay, it's adjustable right here uh, for whatever length um, you need it for. Uh, you've got a, a nice heavy duty grab handle on the back, and then you have your uh, axe or hatchet slot there. You could put that or put a machete in there or a knife or uh, whatever uh, you wanted to put in there. Uh, I don't have anything in there today, but that is available uh, to you. And um, so, what we're going to do, I'll set up the camera back here. Uh, I want to open up the contents and uh, show you what I have inside the pack. So we'll set the camera up and uh, look, take a look at that. All right, guys. Um, so what we have here, I have the pack on the ground here. Um, you've got your buckles uh, that access the pack. I've also got this shelter threaded through the buckles here and here uh, to hold it onto the pack. So when you open up the pack, Again, I'll try to get some really good pictures here for you. You've got another, there we go. You've got another area here for patches, uh, Velcroed area. You've got a heavy duty zippered compartment here in the front, which I'll show you first. And I'll show you what I have in there. Let me just make sure that is coming in loud and clear. Yes, it is. Okay, so in this front pouch, and again, the, the specs for all this will be on the website, but you know, you're looking at a, an eight to nine inch opening here that you can get your hand in. Um, I have a Esbit stove wrapped in a cotton bandana. Now remember, I'm building this pack off of a 10 piece kit. So think about the contents of a 10 piece kit, which I'll put in the link. And the cotton bandana is an essential part of Dave Canterbury's kit. Um, and so I have a stove with fuel in it uh, to cook, to boil water, whatever. I've got a little piece of tin foil here that I had in the canteen kit with some um, fabric in it for fire making, fire starting. Okay. I've got uh, a small Vargo windscreen very lightweight Vargo windscreen that I could use for the um, Esbit to put around the Esbit stove if I start a fuck if I uh, decide to cook I've got um, just a like a Leatherman pouch or belt pouch with a hobo Ozark trail hobo nor uh, fork knife spoon uh, to eat with so a little mess kit type item uh, that I can keep in there, okay? And then I've got the uh, card uh, to the actual website. There it is. Uh, the Hidden Woodsman. His name is Malcolm. And then I have the uh, Velcro thing that came with the patch. And so that's in there. So that's the... Um, front pocket there guys contents of the front pocket and again I have it set up like this uh, for now it could change again the stove and the hobo set and the windscreen and all that fit nice and snugly in that front pocket all right guys so when you open your front flap here um, you've got two other side flaps here that have some hook and loop or, uh, right here that kind of cover uh, the contents that's in there and you've got uh, probably at least a four inch wide opening uh, to look at your access into the um, contents down inside and let me get the camera a little closer so you guys can see that a little bit better um, right there what I like about this uh, pack is that it is orange bright orange coated inside which gives you the ability to uh, see what you have you see some of the, the interior fabric 
is a nice fire fire blaze orange okay and so what I'm gonna do uh, before I pull out the contents show you there's another little it's like a map pouch right here right behind that zippered compartment and in there I have a few items you could put whatever you want I just have some different types of tea uh, I'm probably gonna make something today or just uh, boil up some water and show you um, this uh, so again you could put a map in there a notepad whatever you want I just have some loose items some tea items you could put uh, a little baggie in there with some coffee and, and things of that nature in there and then you have your main uh, compartment here which I will pull out the contents one at a time and just briefly describe what they are and so this is uh, part of the 10 piece kit plus uh, I do have some food items in here um, as if I was going on a day hike uh, with this and so we have a XMRE 1300 calorie individual meal menu 5 uh, which is shredded beef in barbecue sauce pilot bread crackers grape jelly tropical punch and all the uh, items that go along with that meal and so that's in a sealed container that fits nicely inside of this day pack or this haversack uh, next I've got a sport utility blanket by SOL right there I have a video on my channel on this exact setup right here using it as a shelter and inside the bag I have the shelter itself and the needed items uh, to rig it including the cordage okay so that's in there and I can rig this shelter um, I could rig this as a shelter I could put it as a cover for the pack or myself as a blanket uh, to use inside my one-man shelter that I have with me today onto the pack so um, a very very useful item here very strong uh, blanket slash shelter slash cover multi multi use item there you see it um, he has it laid out there he's laying on it as a ground cloth he's using it as a blanket he's using it to carry firewood um, so lots of uses for this item guys very good item uh, to have inside your kit or your pack um, next item up again these are when you look back at the 10 piece kit you'll see that cordage is an essential piece and this is some bank line I guess they call it or tarred line uh, I can't remember how many feet are here but this is a, almost a full spool of it that I purchased on Amazon so I'm sure there's well over well over 100 feet maybe 200 feet of cordage that I could use as backup to hang that shelter or uh, to use for whatever uh, the uses for cordage are so that's in there as well and then I have a just a little zippered kit that contains something else at one point and in it I have my water kit which in this case is a Sawyer Mini right here with the straw the plunger and the bag to uh, put water in and drink out of or I could drink straight out of a stream or a creek whatever uh, with this and again I have a video on this on my channel but something like this type of straw or life straw is part of my water filtration kit for replenishing my water supply and so that's in the kit as well <clears throat> and then give you a look down inside here you can see that inside here is another bright orange pouch that you could use as an admin pouch okay and I have some items in here that I'll pull out and show you. So I've got some water purification tablets right here behind this card. Okay, I think there's two or four in there. And then around the card, like a business style card, I've got some duct tape. I would say at least uh, 10 feet of duct tape, which can be used for numerous different uh, item numerous different uses okay 
The next item I bought when I bought the uh, kit, uh, the haversack itself, he sells them on his website. This is a really nifty item and you'll find, or at least I find when I'm, when I go out on a day hike or whatever, camping, uh, you want to have something, uh, A, uh, to signal, obviously, in an emergency, this is bright orange, okay? But this is a pretty neat item in that it unfolds into like a mat. It's got uh, waterproof on one side here. You can see it's like a, has like a finish or a sheen on it. And on the other side is your heavy duty cloth material. It's stitched and it's got four die out points or tie down points on each corner. Two, three, and four. And I believe it's 24 by 24. I'll lay it out so you can see it better. But again, this can be used to rig on a stick, say my walking stick here. Uh, I could tie this to the stick and use this as a flag, like a flagpole to signal, to wave in the air, to signal for rescue. Or uh, one of the reasons I bought it, I could lay it down on the ground sit on it put the pack on it so the pack doesn't get dirty if it got muddy or sandy or whatever um, or I could kneel on it use it to uh, kneel on uh, to protect my knees or to spread out some items and the bright orange background will keep those items uh, visible uh, to me okay guys there you see it uh, down on the uh, ground here and you see, I just laid out my MRE, my water filtration, my shelter, my cordage, my um, duct tape. And this is the little, provides, this provides, um, you know, when you fold it up, this holds it all together. Comes with it. I think it was like 10 bucks. Uh, I'm going to get a couple more and put them in other kits. I think this is an essential item uh, for signaling and to have, uh, you can have many uses for it. Uh, very well made, well constructed, well thought out, and uh, doesn't take up hardly any room, any weight in your pack. I think this would be a really good addition, especially for a multi-use mat, rescue um, device. Uh, again, it can be staked out to the ground so the wind doesn't blow it around, um, and it can provide um, many uses for you. And so getting back over to the uh, pack here, just to give you a little snip of uh, the inside here. Again, very well thought out, very well constructed. I like the um, bright orange there. I like how these little flaps close down on the top. And then your main flap comes back over those. And you've got the uh, contents nice and contained and sealed. All right, guys, what I want to do is break out the Esbit stove and just um, show you uh, some of the other items that are in this kit so again you've got your bandana that you have multiple uses for including making char cloth putting on a wound cutting up into strips uh, wiping your forehead washing yourself um, many many uses for bandana usually there's one in my pocket always as of today I keep one folded up in my pocket and then I have this one in the kit so I've got two bandanas with me today okay Got the Esbit stove, which I will show you here. So I'm opening it up. I've already, I keep it stocked with at least four tablets. So we'll pull these out because we're going to put one in there uh, to heat us up some water. Okay, so that's set right there. You can see that. Okay, guys, give you a little shot of my little canteen kit here uh, in the pouch that's mollied on to the side of the pack. I've got a USGI canteen cup, USGI regular uh, water bottle. I've got, again, a multi-tool in the one side pocket, um, a strike force fire starter on one side here, and then on the other side, here Velcro down. I've got, I believe it's two more Esbits, and then a little baggie inside. Uh, with a Bic lighter, a wet fire tinder, and a little 
washcloth or wet nap okay and that's right it all contained in the canteen kit itself so um, you know water fire making uh, fuel uh, container a metal container to house more water if I had a disinfect or boil water I've got a heavy-duty canteen cup to do that in and so that's my container part portion of the 10-piece uh, kit okay guys we got our uh, Vargo windscreen set up we got our canteen with water our canteen cup staged here we got our esbit tablet inside into the stove I kind of cleared off this little pile of dirt this little dirt mound that I'm using I'm gonna light the esbit tablet with um, my lighter Now if you can carry a big lighter, why not carry a lighter, especially for these uh, Esbit tablets. It makes it a lot easier to uh, get them lit. I just burnt my finger. And I'll get a stick and push that in. I don't burn myself. Okay, we'll get some water in our canteen cup. Here we go. Canteen cup onto the stove. There you go guys, you can see that. Nice little Vargo uh, windscreen there. Works perfectly with the Esbit. It'll work good with an alcohol stove. Um, canteen cup there with the butterfly handles. Uh, water. There's my kit. There's my other items that I laid out earlier. And all this including my shelter and my knife are packed onto this haversack kit which I think guys is a fantastic little kit for 85 bucks well worth it we're gonna make us a organic from Twinings Earl Grey tea today so my water's already bubbling I've walked out here, boiled up some water, and I'm able to sit and rest, make a beverage, a hot beverage in this case. I've got an M a full MRE um, that I could use for food uh, that'll last me throughout the day to get through this day hike. And I've got the ability to make fire, boil water, uh, signal, um, the only thing missing from this kit, which I don't have in it today as part of the 10-piece kit, is the compass. Um, but uh, right now I do have my cell phone, which is cheating, but uh, I've got to add a compass to this kit and uh, make it complete. So guys, right now my water is plenty hot for tea, so if I wanted to, I could pull off the canteen cup I could snuff out that esbit and actually save it uh, for later um, okay if you smother it the esbit will go out I'm just not gonna do it right now but um, you can reuse that esbit if you wanted to There you go guys, I just blew on the Esbit, blew it out, so it's it's out right now. And I still have about half a tablet that I could use again later. Once it cools, I could put it in a plastic pouch and use it again later to heat up another cup of tea and one Esbit tablet for two hot beverages. Uh, sounds good to me.
Guys, I picked a good spot out here today. Um, it's hot here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, it's been in the 90s, the low 90s all week. Uh, actually today, Saturday, it looked like it was gonna rain earlier in the day, but uh, it turned out to uh, clear it up a bit. And uh, it is hot. Ah, really good. Great cup of tea. Um, I'm not gonna eat anything in today's video, but uh, I do have the MRE. I have my kit with me. Super happy with this kit, guys. I think it's gonna serve me well. And the ni nice thing I like about the haversack is I could, you know, take it apart, just use the haversack alone. Uh, we're going and visit um, uh, my, one of my daughters soon, uh, and um, I'll use that, this haversack, um, as a shoulder bag, if you will, for some essential items uh, in an urban setting. And uh, when I do that, I'll show you some of the items in an urban setting without anything attached to the outside of the bag that you could use um, in that type of setting. But for today's video, it's pretty much kitted out for um, a, uh, you know, a day in the woods, a night in the woods, if you will. I can definitely stay a night in the woods. I have a one-man tent right here. Uh, that I have some videos on uh, that I'll put the links to for this tent uh, in a dry bag so it's protected from the elements um, as I'm walking and um, I've got my emergency tarp slash blanket that I could use if I needed to inside the tent with me. Uh, one of the other items that I might add to this kit if I was going on an extensive walk uh, would be a, a shemag uh, which I have in uh, one of my other kits uh, that I will add another one maybe to this kit uh, for two things as a covering another blanket uh, another piece of cloth to have and also um, if you're walking with this on one shoulder you could kind of rig the shemag in a way as to create a little bit more padding on your shoulder uh, so the strap doesn't cut into your uh, neck or trap area here when you're walking a longer distance and so that's another use uh, for a shemag or a bigger piece of uh, bandana fabric uh, to have. So uh, that's uh, today's video. So what I'll do is we'll pack this kit up and um, we'll get ready to head back. Um, I'll put the links in the description box from the Hidden Woodsman. Um, he also makes a, a, a few backpacks, day packs, uh, bigger rucksacks. Uh, he seems to be coming out with some different stuff, uh, different attachments for the kits that he makes or for the packs that he makes. And uh, I think it's a worthwhile to give him a um, check him out on YouTube. I think he has a YouTube channel and also his website on uh, hiddenwoodsman.com. Okay. So again, that's my uh, haversack review of today's video. And I uh, appreciate you guys joining me. Hopefully we'll get, get out into the woods do more of these uh, videos um, in the upcoming weeks and months as I um, get used to the Charlotte area. Once again, Anthony signing off. Thanks for joining me. Uh, please subscribe, hit the like button, uh, share this video and my other videos with uh, other people, and um, you know, stay ready. In today's environment, uh, a kit like this can be a lifesaver in a vehicle um, with you if you broke down the side of the road you've got the essentials of a 10-piece kit with you at all times in a low weight doesn't take up a lot of room can go in the back seat of your car in the trunk uh, in your SUV uh, can take in and out of the house with you um, and you've always got some needed essentials ready uh, to go at a moment's notice which I'm a big proponent of uh, and to uh, believe it or not uh, to keep you alive in a situation where maybe you needed to keep your core body temperature higher, you can light fire, make fire, boil water, keep yourself hydrated, uh, keep yourself from your core temperature up and warm. And um, very important, guys, uh, to have that type of um, preparedness. Okay? Not hard to put together. Anybody can do it. Low cost items, nothing in this um, kit today was really high cost other than me you know maybe the haversack at $85 but uh, I think it's well worth the investment it'll last you a long time okay thanks for joining me guys Anthony signing off stay ready